Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth is a Funtime Starflyer model that opened at Six Flags America in Maryland on June 14, 2017. It is 242 feet tall and spins at 40 miles per hour. It's located in the Gotham City section of the park. So Six Flags took a while to open this. As you can see, these are some construction pictures back from April this year. So after waiting a while to ride this, I finally got the chance on June 24th this year. There you can see me in the picture. And I enjoyed the ride greatly. Um, it had a nice breeze that day. So I got a lot of wind in my face. And I thought it was really fun. Despite slightly getting dizzy on it. I'll now be reviewing the ride on various categories. The first being stats. Which includes duration, height, and speed. So I gave Wonder Woman a 4.5 out of 5. Because first off, I found the duration to be perfect. It was definitely not a short experience. It wasn't too short. It gave a good long ride, but if it went on any longer, it made me really dizzy. So I think they chose a good duration. And then speed-wise, I thought it was very good because it was going 40 miles per hour, so it was more intense than like the Windseeker miles that go 30. But like if it was going faster, I felt like it would get, just get dizzy. And then height-wise, 240 feet is very good. That's where I took off because. I would have really liked, because like Texas size Sky Screamer and the New England one were each taller, I would have really liked this to pick the America Sky Screamer and take the record for the tallest one. But instead, they just went with the regular cloned route. But still, it's the tallest ride in the park and pretty awesome. My second of three categories is theming and appearance. So as you can see here, Wonder Woman has a pretty awesome opening entrance. It has that cool like Wonder Woman statue, and I think it just looks really awesome. I mean, I did go 10 days after it opened, so it all just looks perfectly new and stuff. But the paint is, you know, not chipped, obviously, yet. And it just has a shiny new appeal. And I think it's really awesome because it brings life to that area, Gotham City. I don't think Six Flags has gotten a new ride there in at least a decade. So I think the appearance is great. It really brightens up the area, and I'm giving it a perfect 5 out of 5 for this category. My final category is how good of an addition Wonder Woman is, and how well it fits into Six Flags America. I think Wonder Woman is an almost perfect addition to Six Flags America. Before they had two thrill rides, Voodoo Drop and Bourbon Street Fireball, and now that they have Wonder Woman, they have a pretty acceptable amount of full thread, which is pretty good. But I would have preferred to see a roller coaster, or at least something that's not a clone, because I think that Six Flags America, like, they're not treated very well. They always get hand-me-downs or just clone rides. So I would really like something a little bit better. But this is a great ride for what it is. So I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 overall and for this category. I hope you enjoyed my review of the awesome new thrill ride at Six Flags America. Stay tuned for more content from this park and others across the country. See you guys later.